Good evening and welcome to Roadie Corner, or whatever I'm calling this thing this week. Um, I think we're doing a rebranding next year after I hit the 365 mark. Maybe Roadie Corner? Maybe. Uh, before I get into it, just had a little weirdness happen with the camera. Uh, I think I've had a couple times actually. So I bought um, the ADA. I should, probably, I should probably start figure this out before I mention this, um, but they're like the one of two manufacturers to make the V90 cards. So I bought two of them. So I've got you know two 128 gig cards. So I can do a double recording in here. And I've had this happen a lot of times where for some reason the double recording won't work because it tells me the cards are different. So I can't do like the simultaneous backup. And this just happened again where I started recording at the three or six seconds of recording, and then it did the stop saying the card wasn't up to snuff. So um, I can't recommend those cards, which means basically Delkin's the only cards, I guess, that are out there that do V90. Um, I might try out my uh, my Lexar 1000s, which of course aren't made anymore, which is drag, but those apparently work. Um, but just for anybody, anybody who uses GH5, uh, those cards are, I guess, kind of suspect. So um, anyways, um, so only a few of you chimed in on whether I should buy a slider or not, and it was all, I should buy the slider. <laughs> um, so I messaged the guy I take, it's Craigslist transaction, he lives down the road, probably 20 minute drive, which by LA standards is nothing. Um, and might be, it'll be available on Sunday, you know, to meet up, check the thing out. Well, so I haven't really done much research on sliders other than occasionally going, ooh, I gotta have one, and looking at the really expensive models like the Edel Chromes or whatever, and going, you know, because they're, you know, incredibly awesome to three, three access, all kind of craziness going on. And, and, uh, but they're also like, you know, a couple grand for the Edel Crown units. Um, I think, you know, I think actually with the, with the full motion control, I think like four or something stupid. It's, it's a lot of money. Uh, you know, it's camera body lens and then some kind of deal. Uh, but I haven't really looked at much of the, the more affordable options just because I was like, eh, you know, I don't want to be a cheap piece of junk, you know. Um, but I also don't want to spend much of money and going, I never use it. Because um, we'll use it with camera gear. So, oh, I bought a really expensive item. And then you use it once. And you're like, eh. I, mean, I have lenses, you know, that I've bought like that. Like, that I'm like, wow, I, you know, I, I bought a, a wide angle lens for my, my, uh, my Pentax, my 645 camera. I use that, you know, for like two days. Um, because I realized I don't shoot that wide to begin with. And with that camera, it's a studio camera. I don't, like... Outside, it's a, it's too much of a beast, so it's merely my studio camera. And in that case, I don't need like an ultra wide lens for, you know, a studio camera. So, try to make sure I make a hell of a purchase here. Anyways, so I was looking at uh, some other options out there, and really at the price range the guy's selling for, which is he wants three fifty for it, and it's about six seven hundred bucks for that particular unit with the motion control on it, and it, it's it's just a, a left right slide. Um, so there's, there's no like crazy motion, it's just, you know, left, right. And I was just like, well, I wonder what else is out there. So let me check Amazon, just kind of see. And there's a couple like, you know, a couple really cheap units I was looking at. Like, you look online, oh, they're kind of, well, they're cheap units. Like, you know, they don't have stops on them. So if you don't if you turn the motor off, it just burns the motor out kind of shit. Then I came across one uh, about an hour ago. Um, once again, I, I should put my laptop over here so I can look at the model number while I'm saying this. Um, I will put it in the description though, just if anyone wants to check it out. But it's like 370 on sale right now. It's like normally 399. And um, so kind of similar to the other one that I was looking at. It, it's a, I think it's uh, A and A and J, I think. A and J Pro, I think it's the company. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, once again, I'll put it down in the description. But um, the cool thing is, so it does like the normal like left, right, pretty basic controller. But it also does loop functions, which is kind of nice. You just let it go back and forth. And does parallax. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, basically a parallax uh, slider allows you to change the angle, of the, like the the shooting angle. So if you like, say like I want, say you're like, you're, I put the slider in front of me and I want to have the camera on me the whole time. I can have it track from here and go all the way across and still on me. Conversely, I also do the opposite and have to do like a kind of a wide, wide pan. Um, really awesome for interviews. In fact, if you guys watch anything like Jared Pollan's site uh, or his page, uh, all the raw talk, like the main camera is on a parallax slider. So you notice like, it kind of pans across the room, keeps everybody in the frame the whole time, but it has a, some motion to it. So it's like, a pretty cool piece. 
it's only like 370, maybe 369, I think, on you know, an Amazon. And I have an Amazon account, and I have, you know, free shipping, and I also have Amazon store cards. It's like, hmm. So I might, I'm gonna look into that. Like, I wanna see if I can find more reviews, because it's a pretty new product, as far as I can tell. I only see a few uh, reviews on YouTube. Um, although, I guess I could be one of the reviewers. Um, but it seemed like that might be a better choice, potentially. Um, now, it is cheaper than the other unit I'm looking at, which is a Canova uh, slider. But it has a couple other functions that I think are kind of cool. Um, so, kind of on the fence a little bit. Um, you know, I, I haven't told Sunday until this guy's going to call me back if he still has a damn thing to check that one out. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely definitely thinking about it. I want to up my game uh, with this stuff. And I definitely want to add, you know, more filming craziness and get back into doing, like, you know, more randomness in the day and camera tricks and stuff like that. Um, I actually did some filming out there today, which won't be in today's video because it was just me screwing around. It was kind of like, a, you know, just trying a few things out. But I got this cool little uh, Buddha statue for my my front deck. I mean, it's a little bit, it's like two and a half feet tall. It's like a water feature thing. So it's like Buddha holding a little flower and water coming out. And it's really nice and serene. Um, so I was doing some filming with that, trying to like the ultra, you know, shot of the field, you know, get the water and all kind of stuff. Um, once again, this, that, if I use that footage, or if, maybe I'll do some actual proper filming it tomorrow, and I'll give you guys some, like a side of it. It won't be in today because it's just there's no actual good shots. It's only you're like it's just me doing way too much pans, you know, which um, is a bad habit I need to get out of. I need to start shooting more. Well, like slider would be nice because I can just let go of the camera and do his thing. But like I need to put my camera on a tripod more often. Um, like you know, now, like where it just stays, records. Um, so a little less crazy mo motion. Um, that's one of those bad habits I got into when I started filming. Uh, in fact, the first couple of videos I shot, um, like with other friends, I, I don't think they had the camera stable at all. Like, it was just constant, like, oh, these crazy pans. Which I think is part of a function of coming from a still photographer when you're like, I can have motion, it's amazing. Um, and it's really taking me like months and months and months to like, stop that, stop that. Um, and I still keep breaking back into it because it's like, it's one of those bad habits I started on early on. Um, I think I just need to shoot more. Well, I need to shoot more of this whole thing um, until we get out of that. But um, anyway, so like slider, I'm definitely looking at it. Um, the other one's looking pretty cool. That I think it's, I think it's A and J, A and J Pro as a company. Um, but there's really not a lot of information about it. Uh, I mean, I, I looked online. It's just very, very little information. I'm guessing it must be just be really stupid new. But it seems like a kind of cool product. I like the I like the parallax feature. I think it just gives you the option of more more cool stuff you can shoot. Um, cause like, you know, I figure if I'm a buy one thing, I should like make it like, you know, highly usable and use all the damn time, all the damn time, like every shot. Um, also it does the cool, like, you know, climbing functions. We put the camera, have it go up and down and all that shit, which I think is even more fun. Um, and one other thing, speaking of cool little camera, like motion things, uh, I have a, uh, pilot fly H2 gimbal that I bought, um, which I use with my Sony quite a bit. The drag of the pilot fly is it does, it's the uh, the mount is on the, um, basically the left side of the camera, which is, you know, where the screen is on the GH5. So I can't wait for the screen out. Um, and also the software to change the axis of it to go the other way is a real pain in the ass. Um, so I was looking at another gimbal today, and I'm not gonna buy a gimbal, cause like, it's just, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting stupid at that point. Um, that's tempting, but uh, there's a company that had one that came out, and I, I, once again, I can't remember the name of it. I should put this down, stuff down, but it was a five-axis gimbal. So it actually had two hand, you know, two handles. You guys have probably seen like one-hand gimbals, like it's like you know, one hand and a little uh, holder for the camera. You walk around and all this kind of stuff. Well, the two-handed model, it's got like a, a little bit of spring assembly in the middle of it, and like I saw you got a video guy like almost jogging through the woods with this thing, and it was like a steady cam shot. Now gimbals are great, but you still get a little boom. This is like, I mean, like literally steady cam, like you know, flat out amazingness. Um, for not too bad, it was a pretty cool unit. I think it was like a thousand bucks. Uh, I actually messaged the company on uh, on Twitter to ask them a question because it, it also had little things where have the arm on the the left side. I want to go. Is it possible to flip it? Um, but they have a, the cool thing with it is a, a remote that allows you to put it on like a crane. They actually sell like a little mini little mini crane dolly that you can mount the gimbal the very far end of it and then have your control on the other end which uh i think it's like 1500 bucks that kit which is stupidly cheap for what you get out of film wise 
Um, now, I'm not going to buy this thing anytime soon uh, because I, like, what am I filming? I mean, filming myself, like, you guys don't need to see crazy crane shots. You can see the top of my head at that point. Um, but it's really, really, really cool. Uh, I think, you know, next up will probably be um, Pi Slider and that lens I've coming in, which I cannot wait. Ship today, by the way. Um, so hopefully, well, this should be. They should be a ground. Like, I don't know, like, why B&H can't give you, like, a really good, like, fashion like Amazon does. Because B&H is a pretty big company. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm just ranting on and off here. Uh, but those of you pushing me to buy a slider, thank you. That's what I need. I, I need people, like, behind me going, do it, do it, do it. Because uh, all my other friends will tell me, like, don't spend the money, you're an idiot. But thankfully, you know, YouTube audience, you guys are all about pushing me to you know, spend money I don't need to spend. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, and with that, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do a little more research into sliders because, you know, that, I'm a dork like that. And I like to read up on all that kind of shit. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by.